Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Neeraj. In this session, we will deploy our Chai.Router application into Docker container using Docker Compose. We will have uh, two services running, one for our Chai.Router application, our API, and the uh, second service would be for uh, our Postgres database that would be running inside a separate container. So in order to implement these two, I refactor our code base a little. So I'll show it here. So first of all, I moved uh, all of our code base into a separate directory that is called app. And uh, we needed to implement two things. First, we need to use the uh, environment files because uh, remember like in our data in our database so uh, for creating our DSN. So initially we were using a hard code val values. Uh, our database uh, running inside our local machine. So that is why we hard coded it while we deploy this application in a container so we will need to export these values this uh, database credentials uh, in in the environment so that is why i created this dot uh, env file and uh, moved all those secrets in, into this file and uh, simply used uh, uh, like uh, this uh, go.env package that is coming from joho uh, th from this package and this package is simply just uh, loading the environment file and likewise, in uh, while opening a database connection, so I substituted the appropriate values accordingly. So there is nothing complex. And the uh, second thing that uh, that would be needed is that uh, whenever our application would be started in the container, there there won't be any tables. So we need to migrate our database tables into the database. And for that, uh, I use this uh, Golang uh, migrate package. You can have a look at that. And this is also very, very simple. So there is nothing complex. So all I am doing is that uh, whenever our main function gets uh, booted, st started. So first uh, I am migrating the database. So this function would be called and uh, this will uh, uh, populate the, this will create the tables appropriately. And uh, for that, so I created this uh, migration directory and put uh, the created these two files that is for the up and that one for the down. So inside the up uh, file, so we just simply need to uh, write our SQL statements. So this is very, very simple. So, so just uh, simply we need to uh, write the, our native SQL queries. Uh, this is the code refactoring. And uh, right now, so let us proceed for the writing our Docker Compose and the appropriate Docker files. Okay, so let's do that. First, let's start from the app. So we will have uh, two files here. So we will create a docker file and uh, also I will create a startup file. So I will create another file also. So my idea here is that uh, okay, so there is a typo. So it would be a startup.sh. So in this startup.sh files, so we will uh, write all the commands uh, for the building uh, uh, building uh, building our application and other stuff. And also we will need a docker compose that would be a yaml file that's it so all the files so necessary files have been created and let us also close which are not needed and also one more file would be we would require so i'll simply i'll just duplicate it and i'll rename it to dot env dot road because in the production so we will uh, need to change the host a little okay so first uh, start working from the our docker file so we will start from the base image and the base image would be golang and uh, we will see set our working directory so that would be let's say app and uh, next uh, i will simply copy all the files from the source to the destination next uh, I'll, let me explain here a little working directory with the working directory directory we are just uh, setting a working directory and with this uh, copy directory, so we are simply copying all the files from our local uh, local host machine to the destination in the working directory. So this is what we are we are doing. And next, we will run a command so that uh, our uh, all the uh, our application dependency would be uh, installed. Go mod tidy. So that way, so it will uh, install all the necessary dependencies next we will have a entry point and here we will say bin 
as such because we need to execute the uh, shell script dot up dot sh so these are the things uh, would be required in our docker file now let's uh, work on our startup dot sh file so this would be a shell executable shell script so bin sh while when we copied our uh, source file into the host into the container so we will have these two files env and env.prod uh, we are concerned about the env.prod so what i'm going to do is that first i will remove dot env and then i will mv nv dot prod to dot env so that way so we will uh, just replace the dot env with the dot env dot prod and next we will need to compile our application so we will say go build dash o and our output file would be named as server and next we will make it execute executable plus x dot server and next we will simply execute it so that way so when uh, the, uh, we will uh, do a docker compose up so uh, this app, this app would be started so we will save it and now it's time to work on the docker compose file so we will start with the version and uh, version 3 that is the latest and uh, we will start our services so services so we will have uh, two services running so let's say chai app that would be one service and second service would be our db and also we will need uh, volumes as well few volumes so we will adjust accordingly so for the chai app so we will uh, build from the context build from the uh, because uh, we are already having a docker file so we will build our application uh, from this docker file so we will say build this is the app I mean, uh, here we are saying that uh, build the build the image uh, from the, from the Docker file located at the dot app directory, and we will name our image as uh, let's say chai app, and uh, we will name our container. Okay, so we won't uh, need uh, to specify the command because we are uh, running our application from the starter dot sh file. Next, uh, we will need to expose the port. So we will say ports and uh, we will uh, our application is running on port 3000 so we will map accordingly the port running outside and the on the host machine and the port running inside the container next we will provide the uh, the location of uh, of the environment file so we will say dot app dot env and next uh, we will also need to provide one directory because we want to our this container to be up when and only when our database is up and running so we will use depends on directory and we will very simply say db and now it's time to work on the our db service so we will say our image let's say postgres and uh, our container name would be let's say postgres container okay so our container name and uh, we will also say that uh, we want that uh, uh, if there is any problem so it will be started automatically we start always and here we will set some environment variables we will provide the post the database user password and the database name fine now we will set some volumes so that uh, whenever our container gets uh, restarted so our data should be preserved so we will say volumes postgres data path is var lib postgres and data so we will map uh, our on our uh, host machine the volume would be postgres data labeled as postgres data and inside the our uh, container the the appropriate uh, this directory would be mapped okay and uh, next uh, we will uh, open the ports we will map the ports actually so 5432 inside the host machine and 5432 host is by default uh, lessons on the port 5432 so that, that is why so we uh, i provided the, uh, accordingly and next we will uh, map the volumes so here 
very simply we will say postgres data and now it's time to build this this uh, our application and uh, let me go one step further and uh, also make some changes in the in the env.prod file cause instead of uh, db host as local host cause uh, we are our host would be our uh, this service so we need to update the uh, accordingly so instead of the db host as local host so we will very simply say db and uh, so let's yeah so let's uh, try to test it and uh, in our docker so docker desktop so there is no images now let's try to build the image docker compose build so this command will uh, build the image it may take some time so it will uh, pull up all the uh, files from the uh, docker hub and uh, looks like the image has been built so we can check in the docker desktop and now let us try to run the container so we'll say docker compose up hit enter so it will pull the images postgres container we are creating directly inside the docker compose so it will pull up the postgres appropriate image it may take some time uh, we are not using any separate docker file for creating our postgres container so that is why it is uh, pulling the appropriate uh, image from the docker hub so looks like the postgres container has been started looks like there is some bug so migration driver error okay we will fix it no no worries so looks like the this this is coming from the local host so it looks like our uh, this env.prod file that is not uh, uh, taking effect so we will we will fix that and uh, very shortly and we can check in the containers running so our postgres container is running running on 5432 and uh, we can check the appropriate error what error is okay, so this is trying to connect on the local host let me also check the port uh, let me try to stop my, the postgres database running on my local machine so sudo system ctl i'll provide my sudo password i will cross check here with using the status yes it has been stopped and now let's try to rerun this container Still, it is trying to connect on the local host. No worries, we will fix it out why it is not uh, taking effect. Let us check the Docker files. So, our entry point is uh, bin as such. Let me try to write a log message here. And let us try to build the image again, calling all the dependencies. And now, again, composer up. So, yes, so we are getting this message our uh, entry point is working fine so we are getting it triggered but again so this is uh, trying to connect at the local host let me figure it out what went wrong looks like uh, we are unable to rename our uh, env.prod file inside the container so with this situation we can do a couple of things we can update our .env file and put the database credentials of the container like uh, we, we will simply need to change the db this will work or uh, we can also do one more thing that uh, we can uh, export all the this information for the security reasons we can export all this this information inside the container environment itself so let us also see how we can do that so we will don't we won't uh, use this uh, env file i mean this values from the env file and rather we will simply put all this uh, inside the db uh, inside our uh, container environment so that way so we will again uh, try to build the image again compose build so ideally uh, for the as far as the security is concerned so this is the ideal ideal approach and let us try to docker compose up okay this time so it has uh, connected uh, properly and now it's time to uh, check the our uh, application so let's see that okay our application is running so click on the article list i will create a new post first post put some description save 
post successfully created and uh, again click on the edit updated so post got updated successfully and we can also click on the delete uh, so everything every crud operation is working perfectly fine inside the container let's also try to create another post let's say second post description save so this uh, new post also got created successfully and uh, we can also check inside the container as well so let's say open in terminal postgres psql so let's start all the databases so we have our database we will change our database dihtmx demo and we will list out the tables whatever tables are there so we have the tables like post table is there so this way so it is uh, working perfectly fine and uh, we have uh, successfully deployed our application right inside the uh, container docker container using docker compose with the two services and uh, still my the yeah, postgres is not running on my machine so we can check the status here so it is off and uh, this is literally working very very fine that's all for this session and uh, we have uh, also completed this uh, chai router series using postgres we completed our crud operations we deployed our application uh, in a docker container and uh, if you have anything to say about uh, this session this or this whole series so please do share your views and uh, i'll see you next so till then take care and happy coding